today, the third installment of our series on Taiwan, focusing on these numbers. There are the percentages of people who need to lose weight. More than half the men and one out of three women at the age of 19 or older are either overweight or obese. The condition had gotten to the point that the government became involved to try to help people help themselves. You can't walk far in Taiwan without coming across an ad for some sort of diet product. Bookstores are filled with how-to guides. And the government is rewarding people who succeed in shedding pounds. It calls the program Eat Wisely, Exercise Happily, Weigh Yourself Daily. The goal is for the whole population to lose 600 tons a year. All Taiwanese belong to a public insurance system. So obesity involves more than their waistline. It has an effect on the bottom line of the public budget. By our calculations, the health care costs for an obese person are 2.7 times those of a person with appropriate weight. We have to come up with an effective plan to reduce obesity and get people to actually follow it. Finding solutions requires understanding the root causes of obesity. One of the most attractive things about nightlife in Taiwan is eating out. Food stalls line the marketplace, and there's more than enough to fill an empty stomach. More than 100 vendors operate in the Ninsha Night Market in Taipei. It's a place to get together with friends and family and to enjoy a wide range of food at prices that won't induce buyer's regret. People show up hour after hour and order more and more. I always stuff myself here until I can't eat anymore. It's delicious. The market, however, is responding to the government's health campaign. Vendors have started posting the number of calories in their offerings. The city helped them make the calculations based on ingredients and cooking methods. This diner is one of the area's landmarks. It's been in business for half a century. The most famous item on the menu is deep-fried tofu marinated in fermented brine, a concoction that tastes better than it may sound. Taiwanese love it, but some worry about the amount of oil it contains. The cooks have come up with an alternative, steamed fresh tofu along with vegetables, such as pumpkin and carrots. They tried a number of combinations before settling on one that would satisfy the palates of customers accustomed to the original dish. It's not greasy. It's light and delicious. The health-conscious approach has not driven customers away. In fact, revenue at the market has increased. Posting calories has helped improve the image of the night market. Sales for the entire market have gone up 20 percent. Our regular customers are getting along in years, so we want to emphasize the importance of eating healthy food to them and to everyone else. Health consciousness has also made its way into the workplace. Employees of a telecommunication company start the day with 15 minutes of exercise, three times a week. This at least gets them part of the way toward a government guideline calling for at least 30 minutes of exercise per day. Those who want to complete the goal don't have to travel far. The company has set up a gym where they can work out before and after work. I'd like to lose at least 10 kilos. This year it's trying to convince people to use stairs, a form of exercise that's available even to those who don't take to sports. Each division has selected a leader to organize group walking in order to encourage the habit.
On each floor, the walkers touch their ID cards to a panel, proving what they've accomplished. The count of stairs they've climbed is recorded automatically, along with the date and time. They can check the records on their computer, and the number of employees avoiding the elevator is increasing. Li Xunyi never gave much thought to exercise before. Now he's getting into it. Li weighs 82 kilograms. He started worrying about his health in May when his speech became slurred. Diagnostic tests didn't discover anything wrong, but his physician warned him that the condition could be a precursor to a stroke. Call. I didn't do exercise before. I relied on Chinese medicine to keep me going. Now, though, I'm rethinking my approach. I've started working out to get my blood circulating as a way of avoiding hardening of the arteries. Lee's change of heart also involves what he consumes. He tries not to eat out too often and has been cutting back on meat, his favorite, to leave room for vegetables. I want to reduce my weight little by little and drop seven kilograms by the end of next year. The company has a stake in all this too. The more healthy its employees are, the better they may perform on the job. If our employees lose weight, we'll have less people out on sick leave. That will improve our business performance. This can enhance the efficiency of operations while creating a safer and healthier office, the kind of environment conducive to working well. Across Taiwan, schools, local governments, hospitals, more than 4,000 groups in all are taking part in healthy diet activities. Eating right and becoming light are turning into a way of life. Well, people in Taiwan have lost 2,200 tons in the two years the program has been going on. That's almost double the original goal for that period. The next steps are promoting food literacy among children and further involving the food industry.